Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the Tiamat Force Truly Wireless Earbuds. So these Truly Wireless Earbuds are packed with features, including they're waterproof. They also have around 36 hours of battery life if you use the battery in the included charging case. They also have Bluetooth 5.0, so they can pair with multiple devices at the same time. In addition to that, they include two accessories a fan and a flashlight that can be connected to the charging case and used. All that for around $55 on Amazon, so check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go and open them up and check them out. So first we'll remove this marketing sleeve. They come in a nice cardboard box and I like that because they're recyclable. While we're opening this, just want to thank Tiamat for sending me these headphones so I could test them. Thank you very much. Alright, so it looks like on top we have this little envelope. This includes some support and marketing information as well as a user's manual. So it looks like we have the charging case right here and this contains the earbuds. We'll remove this little accessories pouch and see what we have in there. So in the first bag, looks like we have the flashlight here. Just plugs in via USB. Does look like it has a button. Pretty cool. It's made of what seems like plastic. Then we have the fan and a blade for it. So just connect that in there. Pretty cool to have all these USB devices. And then finally we have a charging cable, which is USB to micro USB. In this small bag here, we have some little earbud fittings and these will be different sizes to fit the size of your ear canal. So that can make it more comfortable. And then we have a micro USB adapter to lightning cable, which is the iPhone charging cable. So it's really interesting how many accessories are included with these headphones. You get this adapter for micro USB to iPhone connector. You get a flashlight, and then you get a fan. So I've never actually seen any device come with all of these really cool accessories. This would make for a really cool gift, or just makes the device extremely capable. So we'll set these all to the side and then check out the headphones. So the case here is metal. Seems very, very sturdy. And to open it, you simply just rotate this little end right here and that'll reveal the earbuds. I really like this case because there's no way that if you had this in your backpack or your purse or something, or your pocket, that it's gonna rotate accidentally and open up and then you're gonna lose one of these earbuds. Because you know with truly wireless earbuds, if you lose one, they're kind of useless because with one, it's just not the same. So you slide this open, then you can easily take out the earbuds, put them in your ear, and they also charge in this case. So very nice. You do have some nice indicators left and right, as well as indicators that let you know which earbud that is. And then on the end right here, you have two connectors. You have the standard USB connector, which will be output. So you can use this case not only to power the accessories such as the fan or the flashlight, but you can also use it as an emergency power bank for your cell phone. And then you also have a micro USB connector to actually charge the case. So just as an example, I'll plug the flashlight in. We'll see what it looks like. Press the button. Very nice, very bright. Not gonna be the brightest flashlight, but it's nice to have this if you needed it. Snaps on and off, it's pretty cool. And then next we'll try the fan. And that just turns on automatically. It does some, provide some nice airflow. As you can see, it's blowing around some of the plastic. But it's not too strong to cut you. This blade is pretty soft, so you're not gonna have any issues with it hurting anything. And then right here on the end, you get some information about the input and output, as well as the battery capacity. So, so the battery is 1000 milliamps. That's not going to really fully charge any of the latest cell phones, but it could be used to turn on your cell phone in an emergency if you use this as a power bank. So we'll take the earbuds out and take a closer look at them. So as you can see, they do have connectors and nice little indicators right and left. They do have an ear wing. This is going to provide more stability when you have it in your ear. And it looks like there's a little ring that goes around this little button, a little green light, pretty cool looking. But this is not an actual button, it's kind of just a touch sensitive button. So there's no way to actually feel that you're hitting it. It just kind of looks like a touch screen where it senses that you're touching it. And then right here you have the earbud tip that can be removed and changed out for the different sizes or the replacements if you lose it. It's very easy to remove and then also put back on. So these are pretty small. They're not the smallest earbuds I've ever seen, especially for truly wireless, but they look good. They're nice and shiny, and I do like the green ring that's around the touch sensitive button. So now that we've taken them out, we've taken a closer look at the actual earbuds and all the accessories, we'll go ahead and get them paired with each other, and then we'll get them paired with my cell phone. All right, so it seems to pair them with each other, you just need to take them out of the charging case, and they will automatically pair and then they will automatically go into pairing mode where the master earbud, 
the main one will start blinking. So as you can see, the left one seems to be the master where it's blinking, it's letting us know it's in pairing mode. So I'll bring it up on my phone. They come up on my phone here as high TWSL. So I'll select that and we're connected. As you can see, the earbud is no longer blinking and it came with 100% battery life. All right, so I've been using the Tiamat Force earbuds for about a week now. And I have to say overall, I'm pretty disappointed with these earbuds. First, I do wanna start out by saying that the audio quality from these is actually really good. And it was better than I expected for truly wireless headphones. The highs, the mids, the lows, everything came through very clear. There was no distortion or tinniness at all. So happy from that standpoint. Point. They do have pretty good bass. It's balanced and not overpowering as well. Sound quality was also good when listening to podcasts or anything like that. The vocals came through very clearly and it was very easy to understand what was being said. It's similar when you're placing calls. The microphone on these was also very clear and the person you're talking to is going to be able to hear you very easily and you're going to have no issues hearing the person that you're talking to. So it had a very good call experience. When pairing these devices, I found no issues. One of the issues with truly wireless headphones is getting the two earbuds to pair to each other. I found it very easy easy all you need to do is take them out of the case and they will automatically pair to each other and then also pairing them with your phone or computer was also very easy the case seems to be well constructed mostly made out of metal this back right here is plastic but the case is protective and it also locks in place so you're not going to lose them the accessories work very well you just plug them in here the flashlight's pretty dim but it can do the job if you're camping or something like that and this can act as an emergency power bank so that's also good now i did find a couple issues with these first syncing of the headphones with audio. About every five minutes, they will lose the sync. So you'll have this weird effect where the audio is not in sync and you can hear that difference between the two earbuds. That became very annoying and it happened quite often. So I would say these do not work very well when it comes to syncing together. Another issue I found was the range for Bluetooth. They advertise it to be 10 meters. I found it to be about 15 feet. So that's worth noting and that may not be an issue to some people if they're just using these at their desk or something, but it is important to note that. Another issue I found with these was I had some compatibility issues with my Windows 10 computer. So usually when I'm reviewing headphones like this, I like to pair them with my computer and let you hear what the microphone sounds like, but that was not possible with these. I could not get the microphone to actually work when they were paired to my computer. Additionally, I found that when watching movies or any kind of YouTube videos, while these were paired with my computer, the audio was out of sync. It was delayed by a little bit. So it was not the greatest experience I've ever had. And I think that's worth noting. The audio was in sync though when I was listening to movies or YouTube videos on my phone. So no issues there. Overall, for me, the biggest issue with these is going to be the out of sync issue between the earbuds that happens about every five minutes. So it's important to note that before you get these. If you have any questions about the Tiamat Force headphones, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find these exact earbuds on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.